Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Chinese President Xi Jinping on the 30th anniversary of the Bahraini-Chinese diplomatic relations. His Majesty wished the President lasting good health and happiness and the friendly Chinese people further progress and prosperity. He praised the deep-rooted ties between the two countries and peoples. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sghir Palace the President of the International Organization of Folk Arts, Ali Abdullah Khalifa, the President of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Riyadh Yusuf Hamza, and the Assistant Professor of Library Criticism at the University of Bahrain, Liya Al Kaabe, who presented to His Majesty the results of the first field survey, which is the largest collection of folk literature of its kind in the Arab world from the kingdom's cities and villages, which required 10 years of work with the support of 100 students from the university and a funding from the International Organization of Folk Arts. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for the valuable gift, hailing the efforts exerted by the organization and the University of Bahrain to make this remarkable achievement. His Majesty affirmed that the encyclopedia marks a valuable addition to the national compositions and an important reference for researchers and heritage and culture enthusiasts. His Majesty commended the organization's keenness on supporting important cultural research and its continuous efforts to protect heritage and folk arts and to strengthen the national identity. He noted the contributions of the President of the University of Bahrain to the project, Dr. Ghia al kabis supervision, and the efforts of the students. His Majesty the King asserted his support to all efforts and initiatives aimed at preserving Bahraini heritage in light of the Kingdom's high status on the global cultural map, wishing everyone success. The President of the International Organization of Folk Arts expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for commending the cultural achievement, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Chinese President Xi Jinping, marking the 30th anniversary of the Bahraini-Chinese diplomatic relations. His Royal Highness wished the President abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the country and its people. He sent a similar cable to the Premier of the State Council of China, Li Keqiang. His Royal Highness also received a cable of congratulations from the Premier of the Chinese State Council on the occasion. He expressed heartfelt congratulations on the establishment of the diplomatic relations between the two countries. He stressed the bilateral friendship and cooperation have progressed steadily in various fields. He expressed his country's readiness to continue enhancing and deepening relations between the two countries in the political, economic, commercial, financial and popular fields to attain more landmark achievements. He wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sends a cable of good wishes to Chinese President Xi Jinping on the 30th anniversary of the Bahraini-Chinese diplomatic relations. His Royal Highness wished the Chinese President good health and happiness and the people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Chinese Prime Minister Li Keqiang. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the 8th Mass Wedding Ceremony for a 1,000 Groom and Bride, organized by the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Humanitarian Foundation and held at the University of Bahrain. It is the largest celebration organized and supported by the Foundation in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser underlined the support of His Majesty the King, the Honorary President of the Royal Charity Organization of Humanitarian and Charitable Activities in the Kingdom through His Majesty's initiatives in various fields and events, praising His Majesty's directives in providing care to the Bahraini citizens. His Highness also underlined the brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE, leadership, government and people, and praised the efforts and support of the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation for Humanitarian Works to support the Bahraini youth, noting that the celebration underlines the strength of the historical relations between the two brotherly countries. His Highness also congratulated them, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless them with a happy marriage and life. For his part, UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, expressed pleasure at the patronage of His Highness, Sheikh Nasser of the ceremony, stressing that this generous support comes within the framework of the existing distinguished brotherly relations between the two countries and the great attention paid by the wise leadership of the two countries to youth. 
For his part, Secretary General of the RCO, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for supporting charitable and humanitarian work. طبعا العرس الجماعي هذا مو بس عريس وعروس هي علاقه دوله بين مملكه البحرين ودوله الامارات من قديم الزمن فهذه احنا مسؤوليتنا وفي امانه في رقابنا احنا نواصل هال هالعلاقه الطيبه وهالموده وهالاخوه والروح اللي انتم تشوفونها ما بيننا اليوم ولله الحمد Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired today the meeting of the Council. His Highness was briefed on a presentation on key performance indicators of the Education and Training Development Project in light of the common framework of government programs. The presentation included general indicators related to the development of the educational system to provide better options for students and to develop learning outcomes. The meeting highlighted the achievements of the Bahrain Teachers College in teaching and training of academics. The Council adopted the plan of BTC for the next academic year, which focuses on enhancing the abilities of teachers and refining their skills in the field of education. The Council adopted the 34th report issued by the Education and Training Quality Authority on the performance of educational and training institutions. It included reviewing and monitoring the performance of 25 public schools and 10 private schools and reviewing and following up on the performance of four vocational training institutions and higher education institutions. They also reviewed renewing the Memorandum of Understanding between BQA and the Malaysian Qualifications Register. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended yesterday a reception marking the 93rd birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II held at the British Embassy. During the event, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed delivered a speech on the occasion. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen It is an honor to be with you today as a representative of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to celebrate the 93rd birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II On behalf of the Kingdom's leadership and the people of Bahrain Please allow me to extend sincere congratulations to Her Majesty the Queen on this happy occasion. The last 93 years have seen great change. The world is moving forward at tremendous speed. And yet throughout her reign, Her Majesty the Queen has remained a model 
of stability. I know I speak on behalf of the whole kingdom when I thank Her Majesty for her years of tireless service. Every generation faces fresh challenges and opportunities, but no generation stands alone. We can always rely on the wisdom of our elders to guide us. I recall that His Majesty the King once said that there can be no progress without common understanding. This is a sentiment shared by Her Majesty the Queen, who in a recent speech noted that we should never lose sight of the bigger picture as we look for answers in the modern age. I could not agree more. Respect for different points of view, a commitment to seeking common ground, these are virtues that should guide our lives. They are also virtues Her Majesty exemplifies every day. Over the last 67 years, as a sovereign, Her Majesty has stood witness to many of the defining moments in modern British history. Throughout that period, it is little wonder that Her Majesty has remained steadfast, a beacon of continuity in a changing world. For over 200 years, our two kingdoms have stood side by side in friendship. Our relationship is defined by mutual respect, shared interests, and a shared commitment to global stability. Last year, Bahrain and the United Kingdom demonstrated this commitment with the launch of the UK Naval Support Facility in Jafir. The arrival of HMS Montrose on a three-year mission to the Gulf just days ago serves as only the most recent example of that commitment. Just recently in December, I completed the All Arms Commando course with the Royal Marines at CTC Limston. 50 feet up, just about to hang off the death slide, following a contemporary's double leg break the day before, which upon event we were reassured he did nothing wrong, it was only the nature of the course. I couldn't help but think, what on earth are you doing here? Upon completion, however, I gained a whole new sense of appreciation and respect for Royal Marine personnel passing through our island on assignment. But defense cooperation is just one element of our partnership. Education is another area of long-term cooperation, with 2018 marking the establishment of the British University of Bahrain, the kingdom's newest institution of higher learning. Turning to economic cooperation, bilateral trade between our two kingdoms continues to go from strength to strength, particularly in the financial services and startup sectors. In February, in partnership with the Duke of York, we hosted Pitch at Palace 2.0, a joint initiative to help entrepreneurs make their business aspirations a reality and drive sustainable economic development. Taken together, our centuries-long partnership supports economic growth and cultural exchange and safeguards stability and peace in the region. And I have no doubt this relationship will continue from strength to strength under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad and Her Majesty the Queen. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, on behalf of the Kingdom's leadership and all of the people of Bahrain, allow me to congratulate Her Majesty the Queen on the occasion of her birthday and join you in celebrating the enduring partnership between our people. Thank you. The British Ambassador to Bahrain, Simon Martin, also delivered a speech in which he thanked His Highness Sheikh Mohammed for attending the reception on behalf of His Majesty the King and highlighted the historic partnership between Bahrain and the UK.
Israel Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputized Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the Southern Governor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend the celebration held by the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain, Simon Martin, yesterday on the occasion of the birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the presence of senior officials. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali conveyed the congratulations of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his wishes for her abundant health and happiness and for the people of further progress and prosperity. They praised bilateral relations and the cooperation witnessed in all fields that serves mutual interests. The Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness to enhance the bilateral relations, praising the mutual understanding and values between the two countries. With the participation of the Deputy President of the Supreme Council of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, Abdullah bin Hassan al Bu'ainain, the Minister of Information Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehe, patronized the first international scientific conference under the title Towards Strategic Planning for Sustainable Development in the Context of Legislation and the Judiciary, organized by the College of Law at the University in Bahrain in cooperation with the BIPD in the presence of a number of Arab experts specialized in judicial, legislative, economic and academic affairs. The Minister of Information Affairs stressed that the conference comes within the framework of the commitment of the BIPD to raise awareness on democracy and law and promote the values of tolerance, moderation and peaceful coexistence. The Minister affirmed the Kingdom has made many developmental and cultural achievements during the auspicious reign of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which has raised its global standing among the countries with high human development. He noted that the conference is of great importance for being held in light of the many challenges facing the Arab region, particularly the escalation of extremism, terrorism, regional and international political and security tensions, and threats to security and stability. He expressed wishes that the conference will be successful in producing recommendations that will bring reform and economic development to the Arab countries.